Thank you very much, my dear colleagues. The situation of the Eritrean refugees in Sinai Desert is extremely serious, as colleagues have already described. Now, obviously, we've got to be tough in uh, tackling traffickers in human beings. At the moment, the, they're making these people hostages and they're asking for massive ransoms. But, we, but equally, we must protect these people. We, ca we can't just be tough on the traffickers and forget their victims. Equally, we need to look at the causes of why they're in the Sinai Desert, how they came to be there, that they went through Libya and agreements between the EU and Italy, or rather the EU and Libya and Italy and Libya, presented as goodies by the Commission, but basically it's, a, it's an African North Korea. So we need to look at Egypt, see what they're doing, they're not doing enough, and I'd call on the European Commission to rapidly send to Egypt a delegation that would look into the situation on site. And I think uh, all our institutions have to ask, I mean, there, we need to have a resettlement policy. We have that through the European Refugee Fund, and we have to help the Eritreans this, this way. They can't go back to Eritrea, they can't stay in the transit country, so the only solution is resettlement. You know, colleagues, you know why the resettlement package doesn't move forward, because in May this year, but there was a vote against this, and because of the delegated ex polemic council is willing, unwilling to do its part. If the resettlement packet had been adopted at this time, we would have an emergency procedure, which Parliament insisted in its report. I was the rapporteur. It was adopted here, and the European Commission would be able to, to trigger an emergency procedure to resettle these refugees. But as Council isn't doing its job, it's co-indecision they're involved in. So these people are stuck in the uh, Sinai Desert, who knows for how long. Now, this kind of lack of decision, lack of action, has an impact on human lives, and I think Council has to get on with its homework. Thank you very much.